Dude, I've been making that mistake so much. Man, dude. <laughs> I guess I'm just rushing that missile. <sighs> yeah, that was a rough one. Good old magnet. Up to its usual tricks. Okay, actually kind of a decent recovery to that. I was like potentially maybe on goldish pace there. <sighs> Jesus, dude. It's 
still a pretty good time, even with the mistakes. It just would have been, um, would have been really sharp. But still, I mean, this is fine. It's perfectly good. bad job farming on the first round of the fight. This is actually a rough start. What's the deal? Well, um, honestly, I think, I mean, geez. One sec. Dude. All right, at least the run's not dead from that. Jesus. Still a really bad time loss though. I might not be able to save time this segment anymore. <clears throat> so basically, Jackalioth, like... I think basically the way it works is like, under ideal circumstances, the X Factor saves time. And that's maybe like the shortest way to put it, I guess. Like, uh... With a really good fight, the X-Factor will save time. Uh, if things go kind of fucked, the X-Factor, like, kills you. Um, part of the reason being that you're literally, like, throwing yourself at Rudely to make the X-Factor, like, hit. And if you miss, you now have, like, this shitty beam flying around the room causing, like, tons of lag. But that's also not the only thing, because, like... Um, this is a rough start. So, you also need to keep in mind that even doing that strat involves two additional pauses. Because you pause at the beginning of LN. Oh wait, well I think it's just two, right? Because you pause at the beginning of LN and you pause in the middle of the Ridley fight and then, like usual, you, you always pause at the end of the Ridley fight. So that part's the same, but it's two pauses. But also, too, because you're um, throwing yourself at Ridley, you have additional, like, window for, like, needing to farm. If you don't throw yourself at Ridley and, like, do beams and you do it hitless, that might mean that um, I'm not going to make this. And holy shit, dude. This is going to be a really bad segment, though. I'm going to lose time. This is a horrible segment. I'm going to continue this, but this is a really bad segment. I might just reset. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ. But so, yeah. Let's at least a freaking get to Fantoon. Um, if you were to do a really good really fight without or with just beams and not get hit, it could mean that you can just skip like the farming room after Ridley. Uh, so in other words, not only did you save time on two times where you didn't pause, uh, you already had a very good fight, and now you can like skip some farming. So, like, 
I mean, I st it's still at the end of the day, if you're like really trying to get like the best shit, which you know clearly Zost is, pretty sure it's it's X Factor. Um, nice RNG jump. Too bad this segment, like that previous segment, was so fucking bad. I guess we're gonna get fast, fast on this run and gold, and have to continue. <clears throat> But one of the interesting things Cutie had said was that he thinks that... Yeah, nice RNG jump. What's up, Tillamorph? He thinks that using X-Factors made his average really fight just better just, just on average. Which I find kind of interesting and not what I would expect, but I think it's possibly, you know... I mean, that makes sense. Like, I guess what I'm saying is I would expect the opposite. but he definitely knows better than me. I can't even remember the last time I had Fast Fast. Excellent fight. Um, so also, uh, another thing too, so Jack Goliath, like, even if you X-Factor Ridley, you need to at least get like three. If you only hit Ridley with three X-Factors, I think that's like, you actually kind of didn't, you like succeeded at the bare minimum amount. You really want like, like four, that's like the really good shit. You really want all four. Um, Oh, don't hit me. Man, maybe this could have golded before that happened. Okay, nice. What a bad fucking attic. Right, all particles. So in other words, you want... Well, right, because you what you want is all four particles of four different X-Factors to hit. Like, completely. Let's see how this is. We're definitely going to be on good pace. I'm very tilted over an actual 20 second time save at power bombs. <laughs> but this is a real pace. Okay, sorry, Eddie. What? Uh... <laughs> so th this is a tricky part. I don't know. Didn't they vote on they're going to start giving him hints now? Like, I guess how I feel like the place he's at in that now is like... Good. I don't think I've golded this segment in so long. I think it's been more than six months since I golded this segment. And that, that attic, if I didn't do that attic so horribly... Nice. If I had a real attic just now, I think I could have golded it by like five seconds. Instead of the one and a half. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, nice turnaround. That kind of didn't hurt me too bad. So if I was like minus three at power bombs, which which should be free versus my current PB, I'd now be like minus ten almost. That's cool.
Wait, did, he got Spring Ball, right? Okay. <laughs> Jack Goliath, I'm pretty sure my current PB ties that segment and uh, for, for him. Which means that that's his worst segment, right? Like for sure. And I actually feel like that, that, I mean, that segment for me is almost at my gold. It's like one second off my gold. But I think I tie him there. Or roughly. I think I roughly tie him on that one. Which I think makes sense. Like, his bad segment matches, like, one of my best. <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, that segment was rough. For him. Thanks, Savio. <clears throat> okay. Rusty definitely can tell him exactly. Rusty is definitely, yeah, that's a good... He is in good hands. Yes. <laughs> What the fucking shit, bro? My God, I can't. <laughs> All right, come on. Nice mock ball. Oh, my God, I'm missing like so much right now. I definitely didn't think I was going to trip with that speed. How did I... Alright, I guess this upper north air is horrible. Just messing up every single room right now. Jack Eliath, that'll be sick. Hopefully Fusion's been fun. I want to say the Fusion Randomizer's been getting a lot of work lately, which is pretty cool. Because that's like a very new thing for Fusion, to have a Randomizer. Let's do one farm and get out of here. No missiles, not much health, but we did get supers. I did not know if I was gonna go past the ledge there. Okay, Friday, you're blamed. Nice. 
<clears throat> What's up, stovetop? Thank you for the good luck. Oh my god. So fucking bad. I guess I've ruined my short charges lately. With the freaking new uh, fast pillars I've been trying to do. God, if I got Lava Spark, if I got Lava Spark, we'd be like minus five or something. It's really stupid. All right. Lagless links. Yo, Mr. Fox, thanks for the raid. I thought he needed one more. Just grab me. I was out of gold debt. I badly choked the end of that fight because I thought he needed one more. If I didn't do that, I would have golded that segment.
Damn, I definitely would have had the boost. Missile's bad. I should have triple farmed. <sighs> I hate this situation so much. I don't know about this morph. Oops, I definitely should have missled him. <laughs> Actually, I think I got Cray drop janked. I guess I'm choking. Still a good run. We can still do something really good here, but it's uh, I'm pretty sure definitely dead because <laughs> I bonked. Man, that sucks. Could still get a 42 if the rest of this goes well. 
Good fight. Kind of shitty spike suit, but at least we got it. Oof, that was kind of a rough room. It's like perfect resources to get there. What's up, Henry? Thanks for the good luck. Actually, oh man, like one less mistake and full half fee, and I'd be big time on PB pace here. Like, friggin' big time. Alright, time to gold. Time to gold everything. Well, whatever happens is a super sick run. I'd have to go so crazy to, to do this. I mean, Zos could definitely. It's pretty cool I almost had two golds this run, though. That would have been insane. I haven't done that in, like, so long. Excuse me. To Eddie on that. What? Come 
God damn it. Well, <laughs> I definitely think the gold is dead, but, uh... Whatever. Yeah, I think so too. Still definitely a solid Torian, I guess, but... Metroid Room 3 was trash, and that baby skip wasn't too good either. Pretty good fight. I didn't know I had that emote on, on my BTTV. Mm. 
man. Okay, finally I have a good MB3 for once. Holy shit. It, like, never happens. I saved time. So if I'd done Metroid Room 3 properly, maybe I could have golded. I'm going for your jump. Going for that E jump. It's impossible, so never mind. Okay, that is a fuck up, though, what I just did. I. Yeah, that jump is actually bullshit. Oh! Okay. Uh, it's probably. It's definitely a 42 48. <laughs> Damn, sick run. Look at that garbage ass power bomb time. <laughs> Actually so bad. Yeah, that's sick, Jackaliath. This is my second best run. I've had a 4249. This would definitely be a 4248. <clears throat> GG. Yeah, but the problem is, like, you have to, if you go for it and then do that, then it's slow. It's slower than not going for it at all. And I find that weird right wall scrape so hard that I just can't do that strat, I think. I think if I was on pace, I would not go for it. Damn, awesome run, y'all. Holy shit. I almost golded both. Well, I did gold gravity. Barely. My haddock was so bad just now, too. But, uh... If I had gotten grabbed at the end of the pogoing, like I was supposed to in the Ridley fight, I would have golded Ellen as well. <laughs> okay, but you... You would you would bop your PB in, like, five seconds. Yo, Jackalith, thank you for the 100 bits. That's smack Roo. Thank you, Jackalith. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Maybe this should be another Jackalith sponsored stream? Oh, shit. Do you feel that way, Eddie? Are you sure? Have you seen my streams the last, like, two days? Oh, shit. Maker Lig, thank you for the 100 bits. That's also a smack -a -roo. Thanks, y'all. You got the uh, Cat Samus GIF. Nice. Do you think so? Jeez, I don't know if I always feel that way, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Eddie, I didn't get full halfy this run. Which tilts me. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not get full halfy, dude. I guess if I got full halfy, I maybe would have, like, either PB with this exact run, I maybe would have either PB by one second or, like, tied my PB. Um, thank you so much, Tillamore, for the 100 bits. That's a smack -roo. All right, I'm gonna grab actually something to drink, like an actual drink, I think. Oh my god, controller. It, it's so... It's in such good working order now after dropping it so much. Thank y'all so much for the for the bits. Oh, and a hype train too. Thanks y'all for the 300 smackaroos. <laughs> Eddie, is this one of those situations where you're gonna tell me to go into Declan's room? 
and say to say something and then I'm going to tell you if I do that Declan's going to be upset and then I'll do it anyway and, and then or you'll tell me to say that you said to do it <laughs> yo Jack Lyth, holy shit dude Jack Lyth, thank you for the freaking wait 10 holy shit man Jack Lyth popping off sponsored okay let me edit my stream title sponsored by Jacko Hashtag sponsored by Jacko. <clears throat> Yo, okay, Jackali, thank you. Hold on, let me play some music super quick. Okay, I guess we'll continue with Golden Sun. Uh, Jackali, thank you so much for the uh, 10 gifted subs to Rob28, Admiral Mac, Cure Windy, Majin Tenshin Han, Lou Carney, Brett Suzo, TDF Psycho. See out 255. Uh, Isil Dragon, I think. I think that's Isil. And the Daggett. Thank you so much. I love this Golden Sun music. Thank you, Jack Lyth. Alright, I edited the stream title. Jack Lyth, I'll be right back. I'm grabbing a sippy in your name. And then, th this is just a sparkling water. And then uh, we'll do some more runs. What a sick run, though. I'm definitely. I've generally been trying to highlight all my 42s, so I will highlight this and um, put it on YouTube probably as well. Okay, I'll be back in a sec, y'all. Mm -hmm. 